Bob Steven here. I'm starting a, a video blog or vlog on YouTube uh, around my cancer. Um, all right, now I'm uh, preparing for my first chemotherapy, which will be tomorrow. I have a doctor's appointment this afternoon to kind of get prepped for that. I will have a port placed in at, uh, in a couple of weeks to make the chemotherapy go better in the future. Uh, let me give you a little bit of history. 2013, uh, my PSA was uh, rising. I think it was around 5.2. And so um, they went in and did uh, core samples, 12 of them in my prost prostate. And one of them came back. And it came back as a very slow-growing cancer. This was in 2013. I had a second opinion at Stanford University. They said the same thing. In fact, the doctor said, I'll die of something else other than this cancer in, in your prostate. So I went along my way, and we tested every year for several years. Uh, we did the, um, uh, I call it a gun sampling. I mean, it literally sounded like a uh, nail gun going, going in. And so we did that a couple times. Side effects of that are, are that um, I had uh, blood in the urine for probably about six weeks, and then it cleared up. Um, manageable, fine. Um, and then I think year three or year four, we did MRIs, and so still all looked good. I think in about 20, 2019, maybe 2020, uh, my, that MRI showed a lesion on my um, prostate. And again, we were continuing to monitor it. I got busy and didn't have it monitored for a year or two. And in 2022, um, I found that I was having some challenges with uh, uh, the the serum that the prostate uh, uh, produces on ejaculation. It, there was nothing happening there. And um, so I went in and got tested again on my prostate. Uh, my PSA was 22. So uh, we went and did another uh, series of tests. We did uh, an MRI. We did a bone density scan, and eventually we did a PET scan. And uh, all of it showed that the prostate cancer had engulfed the prostate and had moved to two lymph nodes. And so uh, we were uh, planning on doing what was called brachytherapy. And in the brachytherapy, they'll place radiated beads in the prostate to kill the cancer. And then that would be followed up with five to seven weeks of everyday radiation on my lap. And um, about, well, April of this year, 2023, uh, my, my PSA uh, through hormone therapy, excuse me, I should back up, I had hormone therapy for a good nine months, which is basically a shot of Lupron. And I also had, it was taken Vitiga, which, uh, 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 takes one of the glands down, um, and then I've taken prednisone to uh, help uh, with any infections. Um, and so in April, uh, prior to April, my PSA was like 0.5. It was like not even existing. So all the doctors felt we were on good good control. And um, in April, my PSA test came back at 1.6, which was concerning. And the doctor asked me to get another PET scan. Through some communication issues, we ordered a bone scan. I had to get a PET scan, cha change from bone scan to PET scan. That took about a month. So in, in May, my PSA was 5. And um, we then got another PET scan. And this PET scan came back with, besides the prostate and the two primary um, lymph nodes, there are two additional lymph nodes that now have cancer, and I now have six spots on my bones that have cancer. So basically the cancer has spread and has changed. It's actually a different name, and I'll, I'll put that down in the comments what the name of this cancer is. So um, again, basically this afternoon I have more, my first consultation, and tomorrow I'll have my first chemotherapy without the port. It will probably be just an IV for a couple of hours. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos around the side effects of chemotherapy, um, and I have decided that within um, 
a couple weeks, I'm going to shave my head. I'm not going to wait for my hair to fall out. I'm going to go ahead and shave it, and I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll do a video on that. And um, I'm just going to wear the shaved head. I'm not going to get a wig, but I am going to go get some hats, some professional hats. So I'll videotape me buying uh, hats here soon. Um, I'll keep you posted on how this goes. This, again, this is my first first go at it, and I just thought I'd want to help anybody that that may want to uh, uh, maybe going through this or have loved ones that are going through this. I'll just share my journey as I go, perhaps once a week. So uh, again, Bob Steven, going through my uh, cancer uh, process. Have a good one. Let's uh, let's let's talk to each other in the, on the comments below.